Are you here for Mr. Nunez? I am. Yeah. Right, we have everybody here. Hi, Mr. Molino. Hi, okay, so. Let's go on the record in the matter of the state of Michigan versus Victor Nunez, 23984. And um, okay. Detective, if you can please state your name for the record, please. Detective Chelsea Hester. All right, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony about to give this man be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. And so, uh, Mr. Molino, sorry, your appearance, please. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Attorney Matt Molino, on behalf of Victor Nunez, is appearing over Zoom. And uh, I am appearing on this case as a retained attorney. I'm sorry, and I appreciate the court's patience waiting for me. No worries, no worries, but do you want to step over that way so your client can see you? Sure, sure. All right. Um, all right. So, Mr. Nunez, your name for the record, please. Victor Nunez. Okay. And you have heard from your, you can hear your attorney, correct? Yes, yes, I can. And you can also see your attorney, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so, counsel, as to the arraignment, uh, we will stand mute, Your Honor, and we will hold the reading. Court will wait, wait the formal reading. Sorry, just one moment. Okay, and sir, you do have the right to have an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the court will appoint one to represent you. And in fact, you've availed yourself of your right to an attorney and you've retained counsel, correct? Yes, ma'am. You also have the right to be presumed innocent and self proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You have the right to have a trial by a judge or by a jury, and you also have the right to remain silent. Anything you say orally or in writing may be used against you. In court, yes, you understand all those rights, sir? Yes, ma'am. The court's going to enter plea of not guilty and you may have scheduled this matter for probable cause conference on September 14th at 8.40 a.m. And counsel asked to bond, and then I will hear from Detective Haskin. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, you know, Mr. Nunez lives across the street from me. I've known him for several years. Uh, he's a personal friend. Um, I have to say, rarely would I say this, but um, you know, we've actually known about this case for a little bit. He was saving up money to walk himself in, but he knew his bond uh, potentially for this type was rather high, so he needed some money. Um, as it turns out, you know, they they went and picked him up. Uh, he turned himself in willingly, totally cooperative. Um, retained me. Retain me on this case for several months already. Um, I think Mr. Nunez is one of those defendants who appears pretty bad on paper because he's a obviously it's a four time of bit. Uh, about 10, 12 years ago, he got involved in a identity theft uh, situation. He had two convictions based on that. Actually, I think he had three, but it's mostly concerning the same amount of time. He did all his probation. He paid all his restitution, really turned his life around, he works at the Dollar General. I mean, he's not a flight risk. The, the man walks to walks to work, walks home. You know, we tried to negotiate not having any charges in this case. He just couldn't raise the money uh, to potentially pay the, the victim back because we weren't even going to submit on this, or the police department wasn't. Uh, he just couldn't get the money together. Uh, so I said all that to say, you know, I think this is a a case where maybe the paper doesn't fit the actual person. He's a good guy um, and he can't afford to lose his job. So I'm asking that he, the court, you know, consider a lower bond. I know they're going to ask for $25,000 with the tether. There's no way he can afford that. That's essentially a good man and he would lose his job. Um, I like having him around. He's a great neighbor and a really great guy. So I'm just going to ask the court to consider a lower bond. Okay. All right, and detention. Your Honor, due to um, the charges, the seriousness of the charges, as well as Nunez's criminal history, he has several felonies on his criminal history. Um, and the fact that he had to be arrested and brought here on his warrant, 
Um, I have concerns that he will not come back to court after this, so I'm requesting $45,000 cash bond when he gets another. Okay. And so, Mr. Nunez, you work at Dollar General? Yes, I do, ma'am. And you were hired given your criminal history? My, yes, ma'am, I was. I passed my background check, everything. Before that, I was at Amazon, but I, I lost that job, I lost my cars, couldn't afford to pay them, you know. We have a lot of things been happening in our family, so. But I still have been, you know, I'm working and I managed to keep my head above water. I just want to get this taken care of. I don't want to lose the job. I'm not a flight risk. I've known about this for a year, have not flown, have not gone anywhere, will not go anywhere. I just want to get it taken care of. When I was on probation, I didn't run. I took care of that. I met all my responsibilities. And I, it's just stupidity. I'm 60 years old and I've made a stupid mistake and I'm willing to pay for that. I just, you know. Uh, uh, okay. Don't, I don't so, Mr. Nunez, okay, let me just indicate that part of the, part of the, one of the purposes of bond, okay, there's multiple purposes of bond. One of them is to protect the public, right? Correct. And this is now your third type of offense with the same charge. And yet, while well, that's great, yeah, you've been, uh, you've completed everything on probation, you haven't run, you've shown up for everything. You, quite frankly, uh, it appears as though um, the rehabilitative goals were not met while you're on probation. Doesn't seem like it, ma'am, but it, it has, it has been. I just, I just, I don't even, I don't even know the words or, or what to say, to be completely frank, but I do, I do a lot of good things for my community, and I just, I, it was something that was just. What is it you stupid. do for your community that you're indicating that you do? I just, I mean, I, I believe I'm a good person. I don't, you know, I don't, you know, people, I try to talk to the kids, you know, as far as all the stuff that's going on with the sex trafficking, that kind of stuff, you know, anybody that comes into my store that's a young person, I try to talk to them. I just, I, I think I just talk, I, I just. Back, back up, hold on, back up for a moment. You talk to young people about sex trafficking? Because I saw that movie that, that um, what was it called? Um, and it just, it just, you see a lot of kids running around the streets, you know, not doing anything and by themselves. I'm like, hey, are you, everything okay? I just talk to people. I make sure that they understand things are bad. Things are bad right now. Just I, I can, hey, 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 Victor, I got, I got it. I know what you're talking about. So yeah. the Oyani family, which we're well aware of, Victor Nunez is Jack Oyani's step yeah. And they become born-again Christians. They're really into their church right now, really into, and as you know, that movie, Sound of Freedom, uh, is a new movie that's come out. Uh, and it's a very popular in the Christian community. They're very concerned with sex trafficking and what's going on. So I think that's where that's coming from. He's trying to be a good citizen of more than sex trafficking. Uh, I, don't, I think it came out pretty bad. <laughs> but I will say this. There's there's two there's two purposes of bond. One is uh, to avoid flight risk. That's what the cost of bond is for. And the conditions of bond are, are to protect the community of Michigan Supreme Court sets up. Uh, I don't think he's actually dangerous to the community. Uh, and if so, we can put conditions on knowing, uh, you know, Heather, something along those lines will consider jail. I don't think that's going to help anybody. Well, um, it would potentially help um, his employer because. Mr. Nuno seems to have a history of this type of behavior. Well, Your Honor, the original charges from before were uh, it was it was he got involved in an identity theft situation uh, and he totally recanted that. In fact, he helped me when my identity was stolen, uh, helped me give, give me some pointers on how I could track that person down. 
And this involved, I believe, and I'm not going to get into the facts of the case. I encourage Mr. Nunez to not as well. Uh, this involved uh, a situation where I believe Mr. Nunez had a bit of a gambling addiction. So I'd like to see him perhaps be ordered to Gamblers Anonymous treatment meetings. I think that would be enough to protect any, any uh, danger to the community. As employer, obviously, knows about it. As employer knows about your client's gambling issues? That I don't know. That I don't know, but they, they fired him. I, I mean, he's been working. How long have you been working there, Victor? But, but right now, I'm going on months, you know, almost, almost a month, two months. Okay, sir, when did you start? Is it one month, two months? It's going on, going on two months, ma'am. I was at uh, Family Dollar prior to that, and from Family Dollar, I got more hours at Dollar General and just moved there. They saw, they, you know, they like my work history at the other place, and they're like, you want to come here? I was like, yeah, it's more hours, okay. you know, more money. Sir, you. What was your start, excuse me, what was your start date? Uh, my start date was, we're, we're in August, was July, I want to say July 1st. So I, I'm on my fourth check. So that puts me right at about a month, month and a half. Okay, the court will also note though that you have a you have a fourth offense notice, habitual offender fourth offense, which means, sir, that because your primary offense is more than, um, I'm sorry, is five years or more. You're looking at life in prison, sir. And that changes the things a bit for, um, you know, making sure that you're appearing in court. And I understand your attorney is vouching for you. I do. However, given that this is now your third felony charge, I'm sorry, your fourth, your fourth felony charge, all of which is involving theft and dishonesty, the court has some serious concerns for the safety of the public. And that you're going to appear now that you're facing life in prison. I'm not going to run. I'm not going. I will appear. The court's going to indicate a $50,000 10% bond. In the event you post bond, GPS tether. You are to participate in Gamblers Anonymous. Also, is your client's um, game of choice online uh, at the casino? Yeah, that's Mr. Nunez. Uh, Mr. Nunez, how do you prefer to gamble? It was I. It was online. Online, so I'm. I'm it was online, ma'am. Hello. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Um, I'm sorry, my math is not great today. Not 50,000, 100%, 100,000, 10%. And um, in the event, what type of phone do you have, sir? Do you have a smartphone? No, it's just a regular Android phone, ma'am. Right, but it's a smartphone. Yes, yes, yes. Online? Right. yes. Okay, well. Um, Dr. Do you know, are there any methods, or is there anything that any um, what's this called? Um, you can do like parental controls. Are there any of those so that um, that you're aware of that would prevent Mr. Nunez yes. from uh, accessing? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we could lock his phone. We could say no access to the internet. Um, it's a little tough to enforce, but he could also, I mean, if he's going to Gamblers Anonymous, I'm sure there'll be some accountability there as well. Okay, so I'm going to indicate $100,000 10% bond, GPS tether. 
You're to participate in Gamblers Anonymous. You're not to participate in any online gambling sites or games, sir, at all. That's the event you postponed. Not to possess with too many alcohol or drugs, not to prescribe. And you're not to return to, what was that, DC coins? Or? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Anything else? So I have your. Okay. All right. Thank you. The court will provide your client with a copy of the conditions. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Have a good day. Victor, you want me to call Tracy? Off the record. You want me to call Tracy, Baker? Oh, he. Oh, is he muted? No. Yes. I'll call it. All right. Call it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.